In the previous lecture, we calculated the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t and we found its Fourier transform equal to pi multiplied to delta omega plus omega naught plus delta omega minus omega naught. Now in this presentation, we will calculate the Fourier transform of sine omega naught t and let's say its Fourier transform is equal to x omega. So we are required to calculate x omega and we know the Fourier transform of e power plus minus j omega naught t is equal to 2 pi multiplied to delta omega minus plus omega naught. We will use this to calculate the Fourier transform of sine omega naught t. We can write sine omega naught t equal to 1 over 2j inside the bracket e power j omega naught t minus e power minus j omega naught t. Now we will take the Fourier transform on both the sides. So on the left hand side we have Fourier transform of sine omega naught t and on the right hand side we have 1 over 2j Fourier transform of e power j omega naught t e power j omega naught t minus Fourier transform of e power minus j omega naught t e power minus j omega naught t and we have assumed the Fourier transform of sine omega naught t equal to x omega so on the left hand side we will have x omega and it is equal to 1 over 2j Fourier transform of e power j omega naught t is equal to 2 pi delta omega minus omega naught so we have 2 pi delta omega minus omega naught and from here we can say that Fourier transform of e power minus j omega naught t is equal to 2 pi delta omega plus omega naught. We will take 2 pi common from the two terms. So we have x omega equal to 2 pi over 2j inside the bracket delta omega minus omega naught minus delta omega plus omega naught. This 2 and 2 will cancel out. So we have pi over j multiplied to delta omega minus omega naught minus delta omega plus omega naught. Now I will multiply j in the numerator and also in the denominator. So we have j pi over j square. j square is equal to minus 1. So we are going to get minus j pi. I will take minus inside the bracket. So we are going to get j pi multiplied j pi multiplied to delta omega plus omega naught minus delta omega minus omega naught. We will have minus here. So this is the Fourier transform of the signal sine omega naught t. So remember this Fourier transform and in this way we have the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t and we have the Fourier transform of sine omega naught t. You can see the difference between the two Fourier transforms. Here we are having pi, here we are having j pi, here we are having positive sign and here we are having the negative sign. So this is all. If you have any doubt you may ask in the comment section.